Samsung Family Hub Refrigerator. It's easily the most ambitious appliance that Samsung has ever tried to get people to buy. Models start at about $5,600, although in fairness, we are starting to see discounts down to about $4,300. Now that's obviously still a ton to spend on a fridge, but I've gotta give the Family Hub some credit. It's the best looking and most fully featured refrigerator that I've ever tested. The four-door design is the same as you'll get with this Chef Collection model that we saw a couple of years ago, and it looks better than ever in black stainless steel. The touchscreen looks great too. It's bright and vivid, and it also feels snappier and more responsive than the pre-production model that we tested out in the CNET Smart Home two months ago. Chalk one up for software updates. Now, a lot of these apps center around the whole family hub theme calendar, the notepad, the photos, it all kind of harkens back to the way we use fridges when we grew up with magnets and paper. That helps this fridge feel grounded, but at the same time, it also makes a lot of those apps feel a bit redundant when magnets and scratch paper worked perfectly generations before. Still, there are plenty of features that are designed to help you use this fridge in ways that you've never used a fridge before. Take the cameras on the inside, for instance. By tapping that view inside button on the touchscreen, you can take a look at what's inside and even drag little countdown timer icons over your specific ingredients that you wanna keep track of. That's a handy feature, more useful than I even expected. You can also pull those images up on your smartphone using Samsung's app to check if you need ingredients while you're out at the store. Now, is any of that actually necessary? Of course not but it's cool, it's useful, it works as promised, and you can't do it with any other fridge on the market. As for the refrigerator itself, it offers a total capacity of just under 28 cubic feet. Performance was decent too, with consistent temperatures in the body of the fridge and in the bins. I was especially impressed with that flex zone though. Temperatures were always accurate and consistent at all of the settings, both in freezer mode and in fridge mode. It's a cool feature and it works well. Most of us can't afford this fridge, but if you can and you want it, don't let me stop you from getting it. At the end of the day, it's a gorgeous and capable luxury appliance that ratchets up the cool factor with features you won't find anywhere else. Keep in mind though, that Samsung also sells nearly identical four-door black stainless steel models that don't have the touchscreen or the cameras for thousands less. For now at least, the fridge of the future comes priced at a premium.